What's going on guys, it's Clive here and welcome back to another episode of Cricket Coach 2014. Today we are playing in the Cricket World Cup 2015. First game, seeing England taking on Scotland. And I think in the actual World Cup, I, I'm pretty sure I actually went and saw this game. I'm pretty sure this was in Christchurch, this game, is where it was played. And um, I think Moan Ali opened up and scored a ton that day, from memory. But uh, he is not in the side. Which is a shame, because I did actually want to put him in. You know, looking at it now, I'm like, oh man, because I needed a player to put in. Um, and I think I ended up I ended up putting in Ian Bell. So we've got experience in that middle order now. Um, especially with Bopara and Morgan both out today. Um, just due to the fact that they are both out of form. Probably look to play them when we come up against a, lep uh, sorry, a lesser opposition. Today would have been... Probably a good day to try and get them back into form. However, we did win the toss, did elect to have a bowl first. Um, and it's proving to be very useful at the moment because Scotland currently 30, well, sorry, they're 35 for four. Um, that six there from Richie Barrington is going to help them along quite nicely, actually. And uh, even though Steve Finn has taken two wickets, he has been quite expensive um, to start things off. And Scotland are going to be, I wouldn't say ahead at the end of the first power play but they are definitely making a fairly good imprint on this game at the moment so they're going at six runs and over um which is very good so they're playing very aggressively however they have lost those four wickets and so we'll be looking to try and capitalize on that and basically just bowl them out for a below total uh, below par total sorry but um that doesn't seem to be happening at the moment they seem to just be stroking it around with relative ease Possibly my lack of not having a spinner in the side could come back to bite me in the bum. I do have Graham Swan on the bench. Um, however, with the way the pitch was playing today, I decided to go for a five-prong pace attack. And that, to be fair, hasn't really worked for me so far. Bresnan has been very expensive. And we are now going to bring in Chris Wokes. We do have... We do have Ben Stokes that we can bring in. I, got, I brought him into the side. Um... So possibly can look at using him if we need to, but um, his bowling isn't really up to scratch in this game, I would say, uh, compared to where I would like it to be. So that's why I was thinking maybe Mo and Ali, you know, possibly as a different bowling option, but we'll definitely give him a go. Richie Barrington has gone and passed his 50. Wokes has been economical, if anything. He hasn't picked up wickets. In saying that, he has gone and just picked one up now, but before that ball, five overs, two maidens, None for five. Scotland have lost their fifth. They've got 126 on the board, which is a fairly decent total, it must be said. And you know what? Let's get old Ben Stokes just to roll the arm over and see how he does go. So Wokes is carrying on. As I said, he has been outstanding in this game. He has, for me, I must say, since I've taken over this England team, such a good all-rounder. So, so handy. He has finished his spell, I believe. One for 22. <coughs> Excuse me, off his 10 overs. That did include three maidens as well. And um, Bresnan, going to bring you back, but I'm probably going to look at bowling uh, Stokes for quite a few overs because uh, Steve Finn was expensive too. And I'm kind of hoping that those two guys, senior players in the England setup, can come back and pick us up some wickets, you know, because that's what we need. Ben Stokes actually gone and picked up his first, um, playing in his seventh one day international but just his first wicket. So I'm hoping that Brizzy can come back, um, bowl well, pick us up some wickets, which is what we want to do. We expect him to do that, you know. He's a senior player on the side, and uh, that is exactly what he has done so far. The one good thing about this is we do have plenty of bowling options, it must be said. You know, we've still got Stuart Broad. I think we've got James Anderson on the bench as well. He's not playing today, um, being rested. So there are plenty of bowling options in the single side. We're a bit light on batting, um, which is a little bit of a concern, uh, especially if someone goes down injured. We do still have, I think, James Taylor, uh, Bopara, and Morgan on the bench. So we do still have um, plenty of options if required uh, with the bat. If someone does go down injured, someone gets out of form. And uh, Scotland have made their way to 199, so a fairly respectable total. Joe Root and Alistair Cook are opening up. And um, I'm just trying to think who else is in the side. So we've got Peterson at three, Bell at four, uh, Johnny Bairstow at 5 today, Stokes at 6, Wokes at 7, um, and then Timmy Bresnan at 8. So we don't bat incredibly deep, it must be said, with Wokes at 7 um, and Stokes at 6. So it'll be interesting to see how he does manage to go. He's only, actually he's got an average of 34 um, in one day as with the bat. So not terrible. Um, 
However, we are going to need probably one of the top four guys. They're the experience. I say experience. Um, Joe Root, obviously, very experienced now. Only playing in his 25th um, one-day international, but the average is up towards 60, which is very impressive. But with Cook, uh, Peterson, and Ian Bell, three very experienced guys in that top four, and we're looking for them, at least one of them per game, to really bat through the innings. Um, and see the side home, especially in these group stage games, especially against the associates, um, that is really what we want to see. And then Besto, again, still fairly young in his international career. Um, I'm, I'll find out in a second, actually, if we do if we do lose a wicket, um, how many games he has played. But he is definitely the uh, first choice keeper for me uh, at this stage. I think his batting just really does help out as well. Um, one thing we don't have is a backup keeper. So if Besto goes down. We're in a bit of trouble there as well, so um, I'm kind of hoping that we don't have any injuries because I haven't really got that much injury cover. I don't really have anyone who can go behind the sticks um, if need be, so we'll be interested to see what does happen there if anything does, if, well, if an injury does occur. Um, fingers crossed that it doesn't, and that is a great partnership between those two. I think 50 coming off just 28 deliveries, um, and it shows you the relative ease that these two players are playing with at the moment. 66 needed off 192 balls, so still plenty of time. The run rate is up above 7, um, which is what you want to see. And in these early stages of the tournament, it really does help to have that high net run rate, um, which we do have at the moment. Bell is gone, um, so we now do get Bairstow in. So he's only playing his 24th um, one day international. So both these guys fairly experienced. He hasn't gone and hit himself a um, hundred yet either. He won't get a chance to do that today because he is just chasing um, a lowish total. But Joe Root will be looking to carry on um, his form, get that average up to what well, it's actually over 60 now. It's heading towards 62 to be fair. Um, so if he keeps that knot out, then he is going to be there and thereabouts. But this, I must say, um, has been a fairly good hit out for all involved, you know, for all English players involved. Obviously, Alistair Cook went pretty cheaply. Um, Peterson was brisk in his... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Root, gone for 107. Um, and that has dropped his average down below 60, which is a shame. Um, look, Ben Stokes only playing in his seventh match as well. So we do have a fairly inexperienced side. Um, but I'm hoping that we can go all the way with these guys. I think we can. I think we do have the talent there. Bowling-wise... Bang-wise, we could potentially be a little bit light, but we do, as I said, need one of those top four really to stand up. Today it was Joe Root. He played an absolute wonderful innings, 107 for him, and he does pick himself up the Man of the Match award. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to drop a like if you are new. Please do subscribe. Social media links can be found down below in the description. If you do want to have a chat, definitely go and hit me up down there. And until next time, kakite anoa. See you soon.